Did you know that people decide whether they like you within the first seven seconds of meeting you? That's right, just seven seconds to make a lasting impression. And here's the kicker. Most of us sabotage our charisma without even realizing it. We fall into subtle traps, unknowingly dimming our natural charm. Stick around because today we're diving into the top things you should never do if you want to boost your charisma. We'll explore how to avoid these pitfalls and let your authentic self shine through. But before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you find value in the content. You don't want to miss out on more life-enhancing tips from Don't Do This Guide. Have you ever met someone who agrees with everything you say? At first it might feel nice to have someone on your side, validating every opinion, but does it really feel genuine? Often constantly agreeing can come across as insincere, almost robotic. When you express an opinion you're sharing a part of yourself, your unique perspective, and when someone blindly agrees with everything, it can feel like they're not truly listening or engaging with your thoughts. This lack of authenticity can be a charisma killer. People are drawn to those who are genuine, those who aren't afraid to have their own opinions and express them respectfully. Instead of being a yes man, embrace healthy debate and respectful disagreement. Share your perspective even if it differs from the other person's. By being true to yourself and your opinions, you'll come across as more genuine and charismatic, leaving a lasting impression on those you interact with. Remember, authenticity is magnetic. We all love receiving compliments, right? It's a great feeling to be acknowledged and appreciated. But have you ever received a compliment that felt, well, a little off? Maybe it was overly effusive or didn't quite ring true. That's the danger of overdoing compliments. They lose their impact and can even come across as insincere. Think about a time when you received a compliment that truly resonated with you. Chances are it was specific, genuine, and focused on something you take pride in. When you shower someone with too many compliments, especially if they're not specific or heartfelt, you risk coming across as disingenuous. So, how can you give compliments that truly land? First and foremost, be sincere. Only offer praise when you genuinely mean it. Instead of saying, you look great, try something like, that color looks amazing on you, it really brings out your eyes. Remember, the key to a great compliment is sincerity and specificity. Imagine this, you're at a party and you meet someone new. You dominate the conversation, thinking you're being engaging, but you're not giving the other person space to speak. Conversations are a two-way street. You miss the chance to learn about the other person. True charisma lies in making others feel important. Really listen to what the other person is saying. Embrace the power of listening and watch your connections flourish. Chapter 4. Authenticity the key to unlocking your charisma. In a world obsessed with self-improvement and projecting an ideal image, it's tempting to fall into the trap of fake it till you make it. We think that if we just act confident, charming and charismatic enough, people will believe it and will eventually embody those qualities. But here's the catch. People can spot a fake from a mile away. Think about a time when you interacted with someone who seemed disingenuous. Maybe their smile felt forced, their words lacked sincerity, or their entire demeanor seemed calculated. When we try to be someone we're not, we create a disconnect between our true selves and the image we're projecting. People are drawn to authenticity, to those who are comfortable in their own skin, quirks and all. When you embrace your true self, you radiate a genuine energy that people find magnetic. So ditch the facade, embrace your authenticity, and watch your charisma soar. Chapter 5. The Unspoken Language of Charisma. Mastering Your Body Language. You walk into a room, head down, shoulders slumped, avoiding eye contact. Even without saying a word, your body language speaks volumes about your confidence and engagement. Negative body language, crossed arms, fidgeting, creates a barrier. Positive body language can instantly boost your charisma. Imagine walking in, head high, shoulders back, smiling. Eye contact, a firm handshake, exudes confidence and openness. Master these cues to project confidence, warmth, and authenticity. Chapter 6. The Power of a Genuine Smile. Your Secret Charisma Weapon. Have you ever noticed how a genuine smile can instantly brighten your day? It's like a ray of sunshine breaking through the clouds and warming everything in its path. 
A smile is a universal language of kindness, warmth, and approachability, and it's one of the most powerful tools in your charisma arsenal. Think about the people you find most charismatic. Chances are they have a contagious smile that lights up their entire face. A genuine smile reaches your eyes, creating crinkles at the corners, and it has the power to disarm, to put people at ease, and to create an instant connection. So the next time you're interacting with someone, remember the power of a smile. Let a genuine smile grace your face, and watch as it transforms your interactions, making you more approachable, likeable, and undeniably charismatic. Chapter 7. Loosen up. How humor can make you unforgettable. Imagine this. You're at a networking event, surrounded by people in stiff suits, exchanging business cards and engaging in small talk. The atmosphere is, well, let's just say it's not exactly electrifying. Then you meet someone who cracks a well-timed joke, a witty observation, or a self-deprecating anecdote. Suddenly the mood shifts. People laugh, they relax, and a genuine connection is formed. Humor is a powerful tool for building rapport and boosting your charisma. When you can make people laugh, you create a sense of connection and camaraderie. You break down barriers, disarm defenses, and make people feel more comfortable around you. Remember, laughter is contagious. When you bring joy and laughter into your interactions, you create a positive and memorable experience for everyone involved. Chapter 8. The Power of Vulnerability connecting on a deeper level. We often think that charisma is about projecting an image of strength, confidence, and invincibility. But here's a secret true charisma lies in embracing your vulnerability. When you allow yourself to be vulnerable, to show your human side, you create a space for genuine connection. Think about the people you feel most connected to. Are they the ones who seem perfect and untouchable, or are they the ones who are willing to let their guard down, to share their struggles and their imperfections? Vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a strength. It takes courage to be vulnerable, to show your true self to the world, and to let people see your scars and your imperfections. So, the next time you're interacting with someone, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Share a personal story, admit a mistake, or express your feelings authentically. Chapter 9. Rise Above. The Charisma Killer of Gossip and Negativity. Imagine this. You're at a social gathering and you overhear a group of people gossiping about a mutual acquaintance. They're tearing apart her outfit, mocking her latest project, and reveling in her misfortune. How does it make you feel? Do you feel drawn to their energy, or do you feel a sense of unease, a desire to distance yourself from the negativity? Gossip and negativity are toxic traits that can instantly drain your charisma. When you engage in gossip, you create a negative and judgmental atmosphere. Charismatic people are those who uplift others, who spread joy, and who focus on the good in the world. So, how can you avoid the charisma killer of gossip and negativity? Be mindful of your words. Before you speak, ask yourself, is this kind? Is this true? Is this necessary? Chapter 10. Stay connected. The power of following up. You meet someone new at a conference, you hit it off, you exchange business cards, and you promise to stay in touch. But then, life gets in the way. You get caught up in your daily routine, and you never quite get around to sending that follow-up email. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to let connections fizzle out. But here's the thing. Following up is crucial for building lasting relationships and boosting your charisma. When you make the effort to stay connected, you show people that you value their time, that you're genuinely interested in building a relationship, and that you're someone who follows through on their commitments. So, the next time you meet someone you want to connect with, make a conscious effort to follow up. Unlocking your charisma. As we wrap up, remember that charisma isn't just about being outgoing or having a magnetic personality. It's about how you make others feel. It's about connecting with others on a deeper level, building genuine relationships, and leaving a positive and lasting impression. By avoiding these common pitfalls and focusing on genuine connections, you can significantly boost your natural charm. If you found value in this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Don't Do This Guide for more tips and tricks to navigate life with confidence and ease. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.